Hi, my name is Dr. Thomas Dennis. I am a physical therapist and sports rehabilitation expert. I am also the owner of Purpose Physical Therapy, which is a physical therapy practice in Greenville, South Carolina. So today I'm going to talk to you about dry kneeling since it's not something that many people have heard of or know about it. So dry kneeling is a type of service that physical therapists can perform using acupuncture needles, but it's not acupuncture at all. In fact, the only thing similar to acupuncture and dry kneeling is the needle itself. And so it's a very small, thin needle. And so where acupuncture, they kind of put it in on the top of the skin, don't go deeper than that, and they work on something called chi. Where physical therapists, when we kind of uh, use these needles, we stick it on the skin, yes, but then we go deeper with that needle and insert it into muscle trigger points. And so in kind of different areas of the, um, different muscles or maybe in ligaments and tendons and stuff like, depending on what's going on. So it's been really effective in terms of like helping people overcome injuries, ways to, um, avoid injuries as well. When I worked with the U.S. and French Olympic teams, this was something we did to kind of, one, help them overcome their injuries quickly, but also help prevent um, injuries, especially for those athletes. Their time for recovery is very small. They have to get back to their sport as quickly as they can, especially when it's coming closer to the games. And so, um, and I'll give you a little, I'll show you a little bit too um, about this. So we take these little small needles, and so, and you know, like I said, we same concept of where we kind of put it on the skin, uh, but then we actually can put it in deeper into that muscle belly. And so from there, we could hook it up with electrical stimulation on different areas, depending on the protocol or your, the symptoms that you have, um, to kind of address the neurological system. And that's really what we work on is that neurological system. So um, the best way to explain it, and there's different reasons why we do dry needling, so I'll go one by one, but I'll start with the neurological system first. So first, a little bit of a, uh, anatomy. So we have our sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight, and then our parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of the sympathetic. So it does the op so sympathetic increases things, parasympathetic decreases things. So between those two neurological systems, there should be kind of a zone where, like, they're kind of an equal push in our body. So that way, we're not having too much tension, causing pain, stuff like that, but not too much like you know, um, like decrease and everything, because that can cause like instability. So we should be in this normal zone. So when we're above that zone, typically after an injury or kind of like wear and tear on the body without the proper rest recovery um, kind of things or maybe increase in stress, that sympathetic nervous system is higher. When we have a heightened sense of sympathetic nervous system, we're more prone to injury. And so what we do with the dry needling is when we stick it into a muscle belly that's, that's very heightened, um, a lot of tension in there, helps decrease that uh, sympathetic nervous system. So it promotes that parasympathetic nervous system to kick in and charge really quickly. So if we're, this is where we should be, our sympathetic nervous system's up here. We stick it in, we get a little spike of sympathetic nervous system because we put a needle in a muscle, a very small needle, you, people barely feel it. And so, but then there's a further increase of the parasympathetic back towards that zone and sometimes even below into that parasympathetic nervous system kind of dominant response which is good so that when you return back to your sport or your, your work activity, stress, things like that, when we start you know, building back up that sympathetic nervous system, we stay in that zone that we're supposed to be in. So it's very good for people who had injury for a long time, a lot of muscle tension, people after surgery, it's very effective um, to kind of like, you know, one, decrease that muscle tension so we can work on other things for like strength and stability, um, working on mobility of joints and stuff like that. So that's a quick rundown of the neurological system. Another thing too, it helps kickstart healing. Um, so people who have like a chronic injury, so people with like low back pain for many years, people with tendinitis in the elbow, all those types of things, the tendinitis, arthritis, all those kind of things. Um, it's very effective because it helps kickstart that healing process in the brain. So when you stick that needle in, the brain uh, registers like, hey, there's a trauma going on and it sends all the healing factors and the blood flow to the area like as if there was a trauma. So let's say you, you strain your hamstring and after you strain your hamstring, your brain's like, hey, injury, send healing stuff there. Well, now let's say you keep straining the hamstring, and now it's, you know, it's not, the brain's like, hey, this has been going on for a long time, not selling stuff over here, it's just wasted energy. But you still have that strain, you still have that injury. So when we stick that needle into like that muscle belly, that strained, that strained hamstring or that low back that's been hurting for a long time, or the, the elbow that hasn't had any time to recover because you're constantly golfing or you're cranking, um, doing mechanical kind of stuff. Um, it kickstarts that healing process so that you stick it in, it causes that trigger for a trauma without actually causing trauma. And so it sends all the healing factors there and people can overcome chronic injuries very quickly from this. A little bit of personal experience, I worked on a gymnast um, a couple weeks ago, retired gymnast, she had 15 years of low back pain from her sport and stuff and um, just kind of like never was able to take care of it, tried different things, none of it helped. 
we did dry kneeling on her first visit and just 10 minutes of dry kneeling, her pain was gone. First time in 15 years. She called me the next day saying, hey, this is the first time I was able to sleep through the night um, without getting out of my bed and having to lay on the floor to kind of get my back to relax. And so it's really effective since it does work on the neurological system, um, which a lot of times the pain, pain is a, a stimulus. And so it's a way of turning off those stimuluses, but also like going beyond that and like turning off what's causing those stim stimuluses as well. And so that's a little bit about dry kneeling and how it works on the neurological system, but also how it can kind of help kickstart healing processes for chronic injuries. So again, my name is Dr. Thomas Dennis at Purpose Physical Therapy. Please follow us on social media. And if you ever need physical therapy, you can definitely reach us at the number provided on the website, or you can shoot me um, an email at purposephysicaltherapy.com. So thank you, and I wish you a good day.